Hi, I'm Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com. Well, this morning um, we have got bananas that were frozen and I used the fruit fresh on them and I wanted to show you how they turned out. They've been frozen for two days and they've been sitting out for maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes. No oxidation on them. Isn't that great? Yeah, so I'm going to start doing my bananas like this all the time now because really the, the fruit fresh doesn't cost that much. Let me show you. What it is is mostly, of course, vitamin C, so you're getting a little added benefit. So I'm also going to probably do some apples too since it works so well on bananas, and I think uh, bananas probably turn quicker than apples do. And of course, you can see on the label you can also use it for avocados, like if you were making uh, a guacamole maybe and uh, you know you want to make it a little ahead of time so I'm very happy with that so I'll definitely be doing my bananas this way from now on now I know you can just put them in the bags uh, peel them and put them in the bags plain but I really don't like for them to turn because you know no matter what you do they're going to turn a little bit when you just put them in the bag and put them in the freezer anyway so this morning I'm going to use kale and I did uh, take this out from the bigger bag because we cooked a lot of it for our uh, lunch yesterday. So I took this out so we'd have some today. And uh, of course this is going to be raw in the smoothie. And this is not baby kale, it's just regular kale. So this morning we're going to Walmart and I'm getting, hopefully, I'm going to be able to find some more of those salads like I bought, I think it was two weeks ago now. And I do remember I was there on Monday morning about 11 o'clock and they had just put them out. So I'm thinking maybe the same thing will happen this morning and I'll be able to get the super fresh salad. So anyway, let's go ahead with the smoothie now. So this morning I'm going to use some strawberries. Of course I'm going to use the orange to kind of counteract the green of the kale. That, let me go ahead and put that in. And I, and I did re-wash it again, even though it's triple washed, I still washed it again. Actually, I think there's still water in there. Yeah, got some of that water out. Okay, so we've got carrot pulp. This is cream of wheat and oatmeal that was cooked and then frozen couple of cubes of dates, that's to sweeten it. This is a uh, couple of cubes of barley, a couple of cubes of the darker quinoa, almond butter that I didn't grind up real, real good, coconut pulp. All right, and of course two oranges and the bananas. So we're going to put all this in there. So this is, some of it's still a little frozen, but most of it's thawed out. So I find if I get this out when I first get up in the morning, I mean, as soon as I come downstairs, I get out the uh, stuff to go in the smoothie, and that way it's pretty well, some of it is thawed out, not all of it. Okay, the, the uh, orange in, I did cut around that so that center will come out and we get all that uh, pulp in there. And then just squeeze out what I need to. Yeah, these oranges are not as big as those I got before. Alright, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put the bananas in and the strawberries. Move this out of the way. And of course, we're going to go ahead and put in the peanut butter. I've about given up on the peanut butter. Just put it in, you know. About that much. Try to put that in the middle so it doesn't get all on the sides of my um, Vitamix. 
All right, so we, all we need to do now is add water. Now the reason I do the uh, uh, almond, and I actually grind my almonds up and turn them into almond butter, because then when you add water, you've actually got almond milk. So this morning I'm going to add, why don't I just measure it this morning? That way we know for sure. I'm going to start out with just half a cup and see if, that, see if that'll work. All right, we're ready to grind this all up now. There we go. See that pineapple back there? At some point, hopefully today, I'm going to get that cut up frozen so we can have some pineapple in our smoothies. All right, here we go. care of it anyway. Yeah, I could taste the kale above the peanut butter this morning, which really surprised me. All right, we'll see if that works. All right, we're ready to go again.
much, much better. Much better. Yeah, so I took two oranges to kill the taste of that kale this morning. good this morning. All right, give it another taste. I can taste the orange now. I can still taste that kale just a little bit, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Yeah, so I think uh, that was probably Oh, that might have been three cups of kale. I think this is a quart bag, so it might have been might have been too much kale this morning. But anyway, it'll work good for us. So, all right. So we will see y'all next time. Uh, we're going to be working on the house this week and next week and the week after that and many weeks to come, I think. And Mr. Bucky's going to be working in the yard and getting the garage all neat and clean looking. So anyway, we will see y'all later on today, I think.